seated. Grace, mercy, and peace to you all from God, our Father, and the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. On this All Saints Day, remembering those who have stood with us and guided us, who continue to stand with us outside the reach of our arms, I think of Ilsa, I think of Ellen, I remember their love and I miss them this year. After I finish attempting to proclaim good news to you as God's saints, I'll walk over and light a candle in their memory, remembering several others, dear to my heart personally, dear to my soul pastorally. It's easy for me to think of today like the day of transfiguration, the way that we've come into the sanctuary, dressed in white like the robes of Christ, burnished brighter than any bleacher could bleach them. It's easy for me to think of this Beautiful picture of a mountain where all the saints are lifted up from the pits of their graves to stand on top with Jesus holding hands in a big circle like a cola, Coca-Cola commercial where Jesus teaches them all to sing in perfect harmony. But if we look around where we live today, we have no tall mountains. When Jesus echoes the words of a prophet who speaks of destroying death on the heights of glory in our midst, do we ever stop and realize how close we live to sea level? How flat it is here? If we need to climb mountains like ladders to heaven, we don't have very much in terms of an entry point. On this mountain, I will destroy death, says the Lord, and we still feel at the bottom, at the bottom of our own pit. When Jesus walked into the temple in Jerusalem, he saw people not in the glory of the heavenly hereafter, but he saw Jesus in the midst of the here and now. Jesus was looking at people who live like we live. He wasn't worried about the saints who have found their resurrection home because their prayers have been answered. Their life has been restored. Their past has been settled and sealed and forgiven. It's us who are still wondering if we march this pilgrimage side by side with the saints. Jesus looked around the temple at folks like us trying to figure out what to write down on our estimate of giving card so that the budget could be built for the next year, as if today is more about a stewardship drive than all the saints. Jesus looked at the kind of people who fill our days, promoting their greatness, their righteousness. Isn't it funny? It's not the people who claim to be saints who usually live up to it. It's not the people in our midst who dress the part and put on the good show. It's not the ones who claim places of honor in our lives, telling us, how good they are, how smart they are, how strong they are. It's not the people who abuse us by telling us that we're nothing without them, who actually live up to being the saints that God needs in this time and space. But when Jesus looks around, when our God looks through eyes of mercy in the human flesh of Christ, 
He doesn't look for those who promote themselves. He looks for you where you come as you are. Nameless. Defined by the losses you faced. Walking with arthritis in hips that are broken. Walking with bruises on your shins where you've been kicked. Jesus looks and he finds you where you are like Jesus found that widow who was only known by the life she no longer had, who appeared so poor in the eyes of a world that didn't want to sell her anything for her two copper coins worth just a penny. But that was a soul that didn't give up. That was a saint who could fill God's perspective. That's what it means to be living in this world where we take all that we are, all who we are, and we come and we show up and we're with each other. We might be hunched over, we might be masked, we might be at odds with our neighbors, we might be at odds with our family, we might be missing all that we wish we had, but we're still here. Giving all we've got to making it through this day. Putting all our energy not into climbing the highest mountain, but simply making it through the doors of the house of prayer that God claims shall be for all people. We sit as a motley crew in this sanctuary made by human hands as one subset of the great congregation of saints who are in this world of our Lord's making. And we might look at each other out of the corner of our eyes wondering, what did he bring today? What does she have to offer? What's in your pocketbook? What's in your prayer journal? What's in the worries that keep you up at night? What's in your hope for the future? What's in your scars from the past? Do you know that Jesus sees you here? Not those who are running around with bullhorns speaking of their glory, but Jesus sees you here. Sees you with whatever little you feel you have to offer. Jesus sees you here when you feel you have nothing to offer. Jesus sees you when you don't even believe you have faith to offer. And in that moment, our Lord calls the disciples together and says, do you see my people? Do you see the ones who are living today? Do you see how you are breathing where God sees you and loves you? Jesus says, I will be your faith today. I will be the one who notices you when you can notice nothing good in yourself. I will be the one who strengthens you when you feel weary and put out. I will be the one who wakes you up when you feel like the time change is throwing you off forever. I will be the one who names you as a saint when you feel everyone else, including that nagging voice in your own mind is dragging your name through the mud. This is not the day when we simply remember those who were lucky enough to make it through ahead of us. This is the day when we give thanks for all the saints that God has chosen to see in us. For the kind of God who looks on us with a love that looks past our brokenness to the good that still reflects God's image. This is the day when we give thanks that God somehow knows the truth about us and still chooses to love us 
God hears what key we sing often and chooses to call it the harmony of angels. And then we are blessed to be the body of Christ. We are blessed in this place to look through the eyes that Christ has put in us to be his own. To see that miracle in each other's lives. That these strangers in our midst are the saints made our family. In whose eyes we are reflected the same. So not only for all the saints who from their labors rest, but for the saints who are gathered today, whom God chooses by grace and mercy to see at our best. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now that's a song of peace that echoes on and on and never fades away. For all the saints. Amen.